Has a look. everybody it is I your extremely messy soaper um, I'm sub lady number one and I am cutting today pumpkin spice well this is actually white pumpkin puree so this soap actually has uh, organic pumpkin puree in it and then I put little pumpkins on the top and little squigglies for the vines and everything just to make it pretty and hopefully you guys are ready for cooler weather I know I am and ready for uh, pumpkin spice lattes and ready for uh, well pumpkin spice isn't my favorite but I do like a, like a mint cocoa like the peppermint mochas. I really like those. And I may make a soap dedicated to peppermint mochas. We'll see. So, oh yeah. These are, um, I'd say uh, out of the three pumpkin soaps we make, this one is the most, oh, I don't know. I would say... I better cut a sample bar here because my pumpkin's off center. Um, I would say this one is the more spicy. Like it's really heavy on the nutmeg, really heavy on the cinnamon, the cloves, that kind of thing. So it's a lot spicier than say our pumpkin pecan waffle, which is a little sweeter. And then we're going to do a pumpkin latte that's made with coconut milk for our vegan and vegetarian milk soap lovers so yeah we'll probably have three different pumpkin spices this year like we do every year um, we'll have cranberry and pomegranate like a, a spiced pomegranate and things like that so, I'm just chitter-chattering along. Um, I'm in the lab by myself today because Denise, soap lady number two, is out at Good Old Gardens. They have a weekly farmer's market on Wednesday from 3 to 6. So, if you're in the neighborhood, go by and see her and tell her I said hey. And, uh, my pumpkin's off center. I don't like that. So, this month's um, packaging will get a little sampler bar. Um, we call them soap butts. If you've ever wanted to try a few different soaps, especially for our out-of-town folks that don't see us in person all the time, so they don't really get a chance to smell the soaps in person. If you ever wanted to order a stack of soap butts, Send me a DM, let me know, um, and we can either do so many butts in a pack, probably like five or six, and if you know something specific, we can do something specific, or I can pick for you, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, so these are headed to the curing rack along with the other loaves that I made. And is that pumpkin off center again? Oh lordy. Ooh. I don't know what I was thinking. 
anywho so um yeah so if you're wanting soap butts let me know if you're in town um our products can be found at the beachcomber boutique go see denise and tell her i said hey if you want this soap in her shop make sure you let her know you can also find our products at the elusive fox boutique on state street uh the beachcomber is on west 12th the elusive fox is on state street and let's see oh and the whole foods co-op is on 26th street it's like 26th and brown avenue if you're on the west side you can find our soaps there also so if you're ready for sweater weather and pumpkin spice lattes and uggs and apples and crisp fall all that because i tell you one thing i am up in this lab and i am sweating child i'm ready for it you ready for that this is your soap so here's me signing off and telling you guys happy fall y'all and we'll see you soon oops wait how am i saying we gonna see you soon and i didn't left the okay yeah hmm. so Happy fall, y'all. See you soon. Bye-bye.